Well guys, this is uh, my first uh, hunting and trapping cabin that I built. Uh, oh wow, I, uh, this is probably 16, 17 years old or older. I'm not really sure now. And uh, actually I was in the process of uh, putting a new bridge here and I never did get around to it. But uh, probably I will uh, in a couple of years time. And I was changing out some, uh, some shores there and that and stuff. And this place is a uh, 16 me 24 with a barn style roof and uh, you got a little shed out the job seat there's got another little shed out back right there but anyway this window will give you a little tour of the place i guess well as you can see the first eight feet is open uh right to the ceiling and then uh, the second floor there now i got two rooms up there and a closet and uh, I keep my own room locked up there. I got a sleeping bag and stuff left in there, so my nose will be clean when it comes back. And and got moose racks and caribou racks up along there. And right here, this is the first moose I ever killed, a ten-point bull, and uh, five hundred pounds dressed. And that was one of the best eating mooses I ever had. And uh, and uh, I never. That's the biggest one I got too. It mostly like just a couple four points there, and it's uh, five and six and seven and eight pointers, and and a couple more four points there. Like, but not real big moose, but the real good eating moose, you know. So so that's what it's all about for me anyway. And a couple of caribou racks there and stuff, and some old hockey pucks and stuff aligned there. Uh, and over here, that there is the, the from the first rough grouse I ever killed. Uh, they're pretty scarce around here. It seems like the last few years now they're really starting to increase. Uh, a little bit of forestry went on. It seems like uh, the birch is growing up now where it was cut over and uh, it's doing really good for the rough gross population. That's an old fashioned scrum board right there. And the steps is actually kind of steep here, but uh, I could have had the platform probably another up another, f another foot or so here and they'll probably would have lessened the slope. But anyway, I got a rail to grab hold to one up line there. And old table and just a place to sit all right in this section here uh i got a little first aid kit there a gas lantern uh, uh some pictures and that some always hunting and fishing stuff of course and right here is uh, a map of the big land uh and a couple old wooden floats i used on nits years ago and old saw uh, a couple more floats there and a TV and stereo and all stuff like that and the battery is good too, you hook up a 12 volt light there, you know, nice and quiet in the night time and stuff and a couple old games and things and fire exchanger and that's the first black bear I ever killed there and I actually shot and really through that window up there, I had a little walkway made out to him and uh, all I did was put some barbecue sauce on the rock and man he went right for it so and in here is the kitchen area and I've got a propane stove right here. I normally cook on a wood stove but uh, but if you want to fry something really fast or anything is a uh, job to beat the propane for for that. And uh, I did have a microwave up here you know running on a generator but uh, I just uh, I find a microwave <laughs> great for making popcorn. <laughs> you know so that's pretty much all I had of her. But anyway uh, and up line here is my some of my grandmother's old mugs. So I just got those hung up along the top there like that. And some old stuff there like that and some. Eh, got a little bit of old dry food left there. I get, the old man be up around there a bit too, so. So it's good to have a little bit of food left around so it breaks down or anything. Come in and uh, get a warm meal and stuff. And this in here is the bathroom and uh, you know, I put that shower stall there and I never did get to use it, but I was just going to use gravity flow there. You know, you want to, if you're up here for a few days, you want to get a little clean up. And, got a toilet back right there, you just put a bit of water in the bowl and it uh, works great, so. And, this is the kind of stuff the boss makes. <laughs> this is a towel rack that I made, just hang your towel up around there and I just, I just put another one there like that too. And, uh. Toilet paper holder here. Well, this one here is good for uh, two two rolls. Well, this here is the stove, and uh, a fellow in St. Louis makes these. And uh, I'm gonna get the same one. I'm gonna get one like this uh, for my new cabin too. And uh, this here is part of a old hot water tank. And this here is the oven. And I tell you, man, that that's wicked for uh, when you're baking and baking stuff in that. Like, you want to bake a duck or anything? It really roasts them up real nice. 
So uh, he does a real good job on them, of course, and he uses this heavy steel. I'm not really sure of the gauge or whatever, but uh, I really like him. So, uh, so that's why I'm going to have him a new cabin too. This one locked here. And a few maps in that here. And I always keep a few old tools and stuff around here. And so anyway, we're gonna come back here to follow and steep base is gonna be left here. We won't have to take nothing with us like that. And uh, we'll keep bye. We yeah, I like to get up here for a couple of nights now and get the place cleaned up a bit because uh like I said it was uh well, over three years now probably since I spent the night here and uh, on the ceiling you can see that's just siding on the ceiling and that's uh, that's great it's easy to put up there and it's uh, easy to clean and uh, I might even do the same with my new cab I'm not really sure yet and uh, it's great too it's easy like to, you know for the shape and stuff so so that's good so anyway I just thought I'd give you a little tour of the place uh, I'm way in the port opener now on snowmobile and then I got a Another 400 kilometer drive back to Goose, so so it's gonna be a long day because it's slow going the way the highway is right now. So so anyway, now how did that seal get up there? <laughs> yeah, good old days, boy. Old pictures like that sure brings back good old memories. So and this here is the same time we killed that black bear. It was a, up for a spring goose hunt, and uh, we went up actually, and we. Had some moose steaks lodged up there on the bridge. And we went over to the gauge and when we come back the beer was up. He had our steaks gone and he had our beer bust open. The steaks weren't so bad but when uh, when the beer was bust open we said we got to do something about this. So so put some barbecue sauce like I said up there on the rock and I had a little walkway out to that window. This rail wouldn't hear it in. And uh, so anyway that's where I shot him to. <laughs> 